So this is a character everybody told me I should get, but I just couldn't do it because I hated his costume. It looked like he had a giant condom on his head. So finally, when our alliance won, I switched from this to this and finally took Red Robin 7011. So basically everyone in my alliance was saying how good Red, and not just my, everyone says how good Red Robin was and you see him all over the place, but I just couldn't take that costume. I hated it so much. Um, but kind of after we uh, won, or not won, we didn't win anything, but after the siege, not siege, raid, why am I not able to speak right now? After the um, raids, and we got the, the gem reward for uh, our place, we got the 10,000 gems, I went ahead and invested that into, into Red Robin begrudgingly to change his costume, so that way I would then be okay with taking him 7D11. It really was a problem for me. Um, so then once that happened, I took him 7D11, uh, an alliance mate, Dr. Omega, who actually recently, I posted a video of him doing the man bat challenge. He told me that this core would be really good, or this duo, which would be a uh, dead shot hired gun and uh, Red Robin. I'm still trying to figure out how to use him, but he seems to have a lot of utility. There's a lot of ways to use him. So that's a plus. Um, there's a lot of different uh, combinations that I want to do with him now especially because he can manipulate turn meter. So I found one matchup that I'm going to do, and I'm actually gonna do a full video on it because I love it so much. But I mean, they're right, he's really good. It's just, I had to get rid of that costume. And I hate that I spent the gems on it, but if I didn't, I was just going to neglect and procrastinate with him forever. I mean, look at that. It's like he should be in some bad, Pornhub SNM. Anyway, so um, first one, light damage, apply buff immunity to a target if Red Robin is invisible. And then I'll just go ahead and go down here. I think it's this one. I need to, and I need to ring all of these out. But um, if a hero, if anyone on his team has invisibility at the end of the turn, then there's a 46% chance that he'll gain invisibility. Those chances go up as you upgrade it. I just haven't ringed them out yet because I tried to take too many characters 7011 at once. Um, apply, this is the thing that is the best part of his kit to me, at least for the, 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 the composition I'm gonna do later, where he applies True Sight, but it's a 64 turn meter, which is a lot more once you add up the next 20. So 84, oh no, sorry, 16. So that'll be 80% chance, or 80% turn meter. Um, and then this, uh, you purge three to four buffs, it can't miss, and you purge another two buffs if any enemy has taunt or invisibility or is invisible, um, which is awesome, and that was part of the reason why it's great against uh, Power Girl. And then a 20, I think it's overall 30% once I ring it all out. Um, chance to use the leg sweep at the end of an, every ally's turn if any ally has true sight or is invisible. So. Um, this kid is awesome. I like it a lot. And I'll show you that composition I was speaking about before. Actually, I lied. I'm going to show you this composition. I'm going to show you this first. Now, Mr. Freeze is a character. I've spent gems on costumes for, I think, three characters. One was Mr. Freeze because I had to have the original from the animated series. I had to have that costume. The other was Harley Quinn because, again, animated series. That's my favorite series of all time. Um, and then it was Red Robin because I just couldn't take the way he looked. Um, but the problem with Mr. Freeze is that he is slow as all balls. Like he's just terrible when it comes to that. And his main attraction or the thing that made him um, attractive was the fact that he could go against these atrocities team. So if somebody has Enrage and he gets hit, then he goes off like this. Now, the problem is that he was so slow that you never, uh, let's do this, because I want to see what happens when Grundy hits him. Um, he's so slow that you never got to 
use the taunt because he doesn't start off as a zero taunter. So that whole uh, aspect of his kit was just kind of useless because he's so slow you can't get to it. Your team is dead by the time he even gets a chance to um, do anything before he gets a chance to hit anybody. So now if I add red, add red Robin next to him, give him that full turn meter, he is now taunting for us. And I'll just do this because I want to see Grundy hit. Because I think Grundy might hit him so hard that he goes out. But you already saw, like, he is the taunt right now. Um, and that sets off his entire retaliation. Plus, hey, thanks. Appreciate that, Red Robin. Yeah, it sets off all that. So it's very useful against Atrocitus teams, but you couldn't use him because his turn meter was garbage. Um, but now with Red Robin next to him, that is not as much of an issue. Let's see, hit him again, hit him again, hit him again. Um, but Red, Red, with Red Robin next to him, oh well. Oh no, he's still there. Uh, with Red Robin next to him, I just give him the turn meter. He gets, oh he got missed. I wonder if it still goes off if you, if you no, I guess not. Um, gives him the turn meter, so now Mr. Freeze is actually a viable character against Atrocitus' team, so long as I put him next to Red Robin. Okay, so this is the composition I've been working on. So for as immortal as Barda is, she's not a zero turn taunter, so speed basically kills her. Um, or you can get to her and, he's, and at least slow her down. Um, but when I put her next to Red Robin, ta-da, she suddenly becomes just about or close enough to a zero turn taunter. And the other plus side, if you notice, the reason why I do it with Star Sapphire is Star Sapphire gives out a ton of mins every time you buff. And since that's all you basically use Barter for, is to just stand there and be a taunter and buff everybody, Star Sapphire just gives out tons and tons and tons of mins. Um, I used to love Star Sapphire. I stopped really using her once um, Wonder Girl became an issue because giving out all those mins just triggers her. Uh, but outside of that, I love this team's composition. I can sit here all day, and it's especially good for red alerts. Um, I can sit here all day, do this with Barda, hopefully get some mins, which just happened again. Uh, let's see, what should I do? Let's go ahead and do something to you. Um, give out a ton of mins, let my team heal, 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 overheal, overheal, and the missing piece to all of that, because I was doing the Barda and Star Sapphire, I was experimenting with it before because I wanted to take her RB1, but the key to all of that getting to work, it was already working pretty well, but I needed a little bit of luck just so that um, Barda wasn't taken out early or Star Sapphire wasn't taken out early. Uh, but the key to making this work was, oh no, I didn't need to do that. What, what am I thinking? Um, but the key to making that work was having Red Robin. He gives a turn meter, uh, Barda taunts, Star Sapphire gives the mins, and everybody's happy. And so now my team, as I love to say, will be in better shape leaving the match than they were when they got in. And I kind of want to I think I'm, I said I was going to do a whole video on this composition. I really do like it. But I still need to solve the uh, Wonder Girl conundrum. Sometimes I've used this lineup against her, and it's been okay because I've been able to take out um, Wonder Girl before she's able to take. Like, she'll whip a few times, and I'm able to take her out really quickly before. Uh, so it's, sometimes it's worked out, but damn you, Wonder Girl. Anyway, that's it. Um, Red Robin really is like what he can do for everybody else. His turn meter and true sight are amazing. Uh, his debuff is infuriating if you're ever facing him, so then you can use that to your advantage. Take out Power Girl uh, teams or teams where you have Power Girl and you're worried about her. Just take her out really quickly, take out her taunt really quickly. So. 
he is worth the investment. Definitely worth the investment. I love him as a character. I just had to get him out of that damn costume.